Woodworking is a craft that involves the creation of objects from wood. It can range from simple projects like birdhouses to complex structures like furniture and buildings. Woodworking requires a variety of tools and techniques, but one of the most important aspects is mastering wood joints. Whether you are a beginner or an experienced woodworker, there's always something new to learn about this fascinating craft. Number 8. Kane Sugi I'm sure you never knew that you could have a wedding for a wood joint. A strong beautiful traditional Japanese joint called the kanisugi is a three-way pin corner military joint that consists of a male square section that slides into a female section with an opposing shape at a 90 degree angle. The strength of the joint comes from two things, the hammering of a wooden round or square pin into the intersection between the two pieces and the application of glue between the sections of the joint. This prevents the sections from slipping away from each other. The Kani Sugi joint requires advanced skill and technique to create because of its precise and accurate cutting creation. Number 7. Ovum Connectors While some wood joints are created with screws and glues, some joints are created with the use of invincible fixings. Ovo connectors are tool-free connectors that have made furniture assembly very easy and it opens up the opportunity for better user experiences by customers from furniture manufacturers. Professional expertise is not needed to assemble furniture joints with Ovo connectors. All you have to do is push, click and connect the wooden parts with these connectors. They come in different types to suit most wood joints such as drilling and dowel connectors, and drilling connectors, face boring connectors, and milling connectors. But most importantly, they are available in different sizes. Ovo connectors save time, cost, and wastage for both consumers and manufacturers and give woodworking designers the freedom to create new ideas because of their invincible fixing system. Number 6. T-Nuts Screwing bolts on wood has always been a simple but non-efficient way of fastening wooden parts. The T-nut is an amazingly crafted tool that has helped increase the efficiency of using bolts for wood fastening. To install this fastener, drill a hole into where the bolt is to be screwed in and drill a wider hole which will be the diameter of the T-nut with a bit of depth at the back of the wood surface. This will allow the T-nut to sink deeper giving you a flat surface for your work. Insert the bolt into the hole and screw it into the T-nut until it becomes tight. To make the fastening more permanent, glue can be added to the edges of the T-nut when screwed into the wood surface. Aside screwing, this tool could also be forced into the wood surface with a clamp tool or bench vise, but a hammer should never be used. Once this is done, your wooden parts joined together will definitely have a better retention. Number 5. Shiho Kamasugi it is a Japanese wood joinery also known as four-way gooseneck joint. If your wooden material isn't long enough for a project, you can just pop down to your local store to buy a longer piece, right? But hundreds of years ago in Japan, the Sashimono carpenters used one of the strongest splice wood joints that have been designed by traditional Japanese craftsmen to solve that problem. Shio Kamasugi is a very strong splice wood joint that joins two straight wooden pieces together to extend the length without the use of glue or screws. At a glance, this joinery will have your mind twisted and wonder the impossible of making. It's a form Let's of art go. in itself. People have rumored that buildings built with these wooden joints can withstand even earthquakes. It takes exquisite professionality and mastery to make a joint like this. Number 4. Curve Bending Bending wood with bare hands with a little help from a saw is not something you see every day. It is a technique that is used by professional craftsmen to bend wood for certain constructions and this technique is called curve bending. Plywood is the material mostly used for curve bending because it is a more flexible type of wood that is suitable for bending. Curving involves cutting slots into the wood's surface at close equal intervals with saws of different kinds. The technique is to cut into the wooden piece but not too far that it becomes fragile and breaks, but rather having a smooth and curvature shape with no flat spots. After the curve bending process has been done, some craftsmen go a bit further to increase the strength of the wood wither by using other materials to support the bend or applying glue between the cuts, keeping the shape strong and lasting. Number 3. Knife Hinges The knife hinge is a popular choice for those who want a sleek and modern look for their doors. One of the key features of this hinge is the pivot pin, which is visible from the side of the door. To ensure proper installation, it's important to use two knife hinges per door. 
one at the top and one at the bottom. However, this can be a challenging task and there is no room for error. It's crucial to measure accurately and make sure that both hinges are aligned perfectly. Once installed, these hinges provide a smooth and quiet operation. With their minimalist design and reliable performance, knife hinges are an excellent choice for any modern home or office. Number 2. Kawai Sugite One of the most sophisticated looking and versatile wood joints is called the Kawai Sugite. It is a Japanese three-way joint that is made by carving out two wood pieces in the same way. The combination of these pieces offer the wood joint to be formed in two different ways. They could be joined in a straight line at 90 degrees to one side and also 90 degrees to the opposite side. Because this joint is so intricate, it requires a high level of precision that creates the perfect fitment. Number 1. Wood Steam Bending if there is one thing that makes wood constructions have a visually appealing look, it's the involvement of curves in their designs. Steam bending is an interesting method that has been developed to make sure that the hardest of woods can be bent to fit in whatever desired style is needed in a project. To better understand that wood behaves differently during the steam bending process due to factors like the wood species, thickness, steaming time, and so on. This process involves soaking the wood to be bent in water. The harder the wood, the longer the soaking time. The soaked wood is then put into a steam box, which is a long concealed container that is connected to a steam generator. It is recommended at 1 hour per inch of wood thickness. Once the steaming process has finished, the wood must be removed and shaped into its desired shape with a mold or clamp while waiting to be dried. The steam bending process is sustainable, cheap, clean and doesn't consume much energy. So why not give this method a go on your next project and bend it like Beckham? Subscribe!